Tesla just broke the rules. The Model 2 is landing at $17,000 after credits. And here's the wild part. It can earn you $30,000 to $40,000 per year as a robo-taxi. This isn't theory. It's FSDV14 with the AI5 chip making it happen while you're asleep. A car that pays itself back in months? How did Tesla slash the price this low with three-piece megacastings and next-gen LFP batteries? What's stopping every automaker from copying this? And is this the real reason legacy car companies are panicking? Let's dive right in. Seven minutes ago, leaked images from Fremont factory revealed something that should make every automotive executive nervous. Tesla isn't just building a cheaper car. They're demolishing a century of manufacturing assumptions. To understand why this matters, we need to look at what's actually happening on that factory floor. Traditional sedans are engineering nightmares. 400 stamped steel panels held together by 6,000 spot welds. Every single weld is a potential failure point, a rust magnet, and a maintenance bill waiting to happen. Tesla's engineers looked at this complexity and asked the question nobody else dared to ask. What if we just eliminated most of it? The Model 3 started with 5,000 welds. The Model Y dropped that to 3,400 by casting the rear frame as one solid piece. Now the Model 2 slashes it to under 400 welds total. That's not an improvement, that's a revolution. The leaked images show rear assemblies being cast in single pieces using a 50,000-ton gigapress that liquefies aluminum and pours it into a mold the size of a small room. What used to require hundreds of parts and weeks of assembly now happens in one 90-second pour. No shock towers, no rails, no panels waiting to be bolted together. Just one massive aluminum structure that forms half the car. The front section gets identical treatment. But here's where Tesla made the move that separates them from everyone else. They turned the battery into the car's skeleton. Ford and GM still treat batteries like cargo. They build a separate frame, drop the battery modules in, then weld everything together to keep it secure. Tesla looked at that approach and saw wasted opportunity. In the Model 2, the battery pack isn't cargo. It's the foundation. Those 700 perimeter welds that other manufacturers need? Gone. Instead, Tesla uses aerospace-grade structural adhesive, the exact same compound that bonds airplane wings to fuselages at 600 miles per hour and 35,000 feet altitude. When those three megacast pieces come together with the structural battery between them, they need just 16 welds. The total joining surface compressed to 0.9 meters creates a monocoque structure that distributes stress across the entire frame instead of concentrating it at weak points. This boosts torsional rigidity by 30% compared to the Model 3. But the real genius is in what Tesla eliminated. 3,000 welds removed. 90 kilograms of structural steel deleted. While competitors drag around 270 to 300 kilograms of welded metal, the Model 2's 180-kilogram chassis is almost floating by comparison. That weight reduction translates directly into unexpected performance. 30 extra miles of range per charge. 0 to 60 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds and this frame is engineered to last 30 years without structural degradation. Compare that to Mustang Mach-E or Hyundai Ioniq 5 owners who visit repair shops twice annually, spending $8,000 to $12,000 fixing rust and cracked paint around thousands of weld points. The cost savings over a decade 
could exceed $50,000, more than twice what you paid for the car. Now let's talk about why Tesla chose this exact moment to finalize their battery strategy. Two weeks ago, they signed a $4.3 billion LFP battery supply agreement with LG Energy Solution, with production centered in Nevada instead of China. Tariffs on Chinese imports just hit $25,000 per vehicle. By manufacturing LFP cells domestically, Tesla sidesteps the tariff entirely. Add the $7,500 federal EV credit, and suddenly, you're looking at a final cost under $17,000. But Tesla isn't using standard LFP chemistry. They've patented a blended cathode formula that's 98% lithium iron phosphate with 2% nickel oxide active material. That tiny 2% addition sounds insignificant until you examine what it does. Standard LFP batteries deliver 160 to 180 watt hours per kilogram. This blended formula hits 190 to 210 watt hours per kilogram, a 20% jump in stored energy. The nickel materials undergo heat treatment at 1,470 degrees Fahrenheit that burns off impurities and creates a crystalline structure resisting degradation over time. What this means in practical terms is the Model 2 achieves 300 miles per charge, 12% more than standard LFP configurations. Put that in context against competitors. The BYD Dolphin barely reaches 220 miles. The VW ID2 tops out at 240. Tesla's giving you 60 to 80 more miles in a vehicle costing $10,000 less. The long-term performance is even more impressive. These blended cells maintain over 90% capacity after 9,000 full charge cycles at 140 degrees Fahrenheit. That's 2.5 million miles of use before you'd notice significant degradation. The thermal stability also enables 700 kilowatt super fast charging, 10% to 80% battery capacity in 14 minutes. The question nobody at Ford or GM can answer is how Tesla delivers this performance at $17,000 when they can't match it at $40,000. The answer is, Tesla stopped optimizing the old game and started playing a new one. This brings us to the RoboTaxi capability, where your $17,000 purchase transforms from expense into investment. FSD version 14 with the AI5 chip delivers 2,500 trillion operations per second, over 10 times the computational power of the previous system. It processes visual data from eight cameras at 120 frames per second and executes decisions in under 50 milliseconds. Human reaction time averages 250 milliseconds, meaning this system is literally five times faster than you are. Twelve ultrasonic sensors and three radar units create 360-degree awareness that updates constantly. Lane-keeping precision improved 35%. Intersection navigation accuracy increased 40% compared to previous versions. But the real story isn't the technology, it's what this enables economically. With full robo-taxi capability built in, your Model 2 operates as a commercial vehicle while you're doing anything else. Industry analysis projects $30,000 to $40,000 in annual earnings for robo-taxis in high-demand urban markets. Here's why that's realistic. Uber and Lyft drivers in major cities currently earn $25 to $35 per hour before expenses. A robo-taxi eliminates the driver's wage, meaning every dollar earned splits only between the platform and vehicle owner. Run your Model 2 eight hours per day at $30 per hour average and gross revenue hits $87,600 annually.
after Tesla's likely 30% platform fee, you net $61,320 from a car that cost $17,000. The payback period is six months. After that, pure profit. This changes vehicle ownership fundamentally. You're not buying transportation. You're buying a productive asset generating cash flow. Why buy a $40,000 Honda that sits parked 95% of the time depreciating when you could buy a Model 2 that works for you during idle hours? Tesla also eliminated the dealership and service model. No showrooms, no salespeople, no finance managers. You buy the Model 2 on Tesla's website, like ordering from Amazon. Production updates arrive on your phone. Weeks later, the car shows up at your home fully charged. The vehicle connects to Tesla's cloud network. Diagnostic AI monitors every system continuously. Over 80% of issues resolve through over-the-air updates. For hardware problems, mobile technicians bring tools to your location and complete repairs in hours. This terrifies legacy automakers they generate 50% of profit from service departments and financing. Tesla evaporated those revenue streams. Ford announced 4,000 layoffs last month. GM is closing plants. Stellantis is drowning in unsold inventory. They can't compete because their business model depends on overhead Tesla designed out of existence. Here's the bigger picture. A $17,000 vehicle that drives itself generates $30,000 to $40,000 annually, requires almost zero maintenance, and lasts three decades. When millions reach the roads, what happens to personal car ownership? Production starts this year with scaling through 2026. Tesla projects 5 million units annually by 2027. That's 5 million income-generating assets collectively earning 150 to $200 billion per year, larger than Hungary's entire GDP. The Model 2 is the catalyst, forcing these questions from theoretical to immediate. So here's the answer to what we asked at the start. Tesla didn't just build a cheaper car. They rewrote the economics of transportation entirely. The Model 2 at $17,000 that pays you back $30,000 to $40,000 per year isn't theory anymore. It's real, launching this year and scaling through 2026. The three-piece megacasting eliminates 90% of welds. The blended LFP batteries deliver 300 miles at costs competitors can't match. The AI5 chip turns your car into a revenue-generating asset while you sleep. This is exactly why legacy automakers are in crisis. They're optimizing a game that Tesla stopped playing years ago. Ford, GM, Stellantis. They're all cutting jobs and closing plants because they can't compete with a cost structure that eliminated dealerships, service departments, and manufacturing complexity. The bigger question is, what happens when millions of these hit the roads? We're not just watching an EV launch. We're watching the beginning of transportation as income instead of expense. That shift changes everything. What's your take? Will the Model 2 actually deliver on these promises? Or is Tesla overselling the robo-taxi capability? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If this breakdown gave you clarity on where the auto industry is headed, Hit that like button and subscribe to Tech Revolution. Turn on notifications so you catch our next deep dive into the technologies reshaping our world. We're tracking every breakthrough that matters. The future isn't coming, it's already being built in Fremont, and now you know exactly what it looks like.